Hello viewers, a warm welcome to your interesting channel. We were discussing about Indian constitutional amendments. Till now we have discussed about 40 amendments. Today we are going to see from 41 to 50 amendments. The 41st amendment is in 1976. It raises the retirement age of members of the State Public Service Commission from the age 60 to 62. The 42nd agreement which is amendment which is very very important amendment in 1976 was the most comprehensive amendment to the constitution and carried out drastic changes. Some prominent changes made were first one it added the words socialist and secular in, in the preamble. Second one, it provided that laws enhanced for implementation of directive principles could not be struck down by courts on the ground that they violated some fundamental rights. It added a set of 10 fundamental duties to the constitution. It asserted the supremacy of parliament with regard to the amendment of constitution. It curtailed the powers of the high courts and supreme court with regard to the issue of writs and indical review. It froze the seats in the Lok Sabha and state assemblies on the basis of the 1971 census till 2001 AD. It raised the tenure of the Lok Sabha and state assemblies from 5 to 6 years. It made it obligatory for the president to act on the advice of council of ministers. It transferred subjects like forest, education, population control, population control from the state list to the concurrent list. It provided for administrative tribunal for tribunals for speedy and substantial justice. It granted the union government the power to deploy armed forces in any state to deal with a grave situation of law and order. It authorized parliament to make laws to deal with anti-national activists and such laws were to take precedence over fundamental rights. The 43rd amendment was carried out by the Janata government and sought to nullify some of the changes introduced by the 42nd amendment. We are talking about now about the 43rd amendment. It deprived parliament of special powers conferred on it by 42nd amendment to enact laws for the prohibition of anti-national activities. It restored the jurisdic jurisdiction of the supreme court and high courts to pronounce upon the constitutional validity of laws. It again reduced the terms of term of Lok Sabha and state as legislative assemblies to 5 years. It did away with the special privileges of the Prime Minister and the Speaker with regard to disputes pertaining to the election to the Lok Sabha. Let's look at the 44th amendment which is in 1978. It also repealed some of the changes introduced by the 42nd amendment. It modified the emergency provisions of the constitution to ensure that these were not misused in future. It restored the Supreme Court and High Courts the jurisdiction and powers they enjoyed before the 42nd Amendment was passed. It deleted the right to property from the list of fundamental rights and took away from the center to power to send its armed forces to any state to meet a grave situation there. Now we we'll see 45th amendment which is in which is done in 1980 extended the reservation of seats and posts for the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes till 1990. The 46th amendment in 1982 sought to bring about some uniformity in tax rates on certain items and grave sufficient powers to states to plug loopholes in the laws and release sales tax dues. The 47th amendment in 1984 included 14 land reform acts from different states in the 9th schedule 
to ensure their immunity from litigation after this amendment the number of acts included in the 9th schedule rose to 2002 the 48th amendment in 1984 was passed with a view to extending president's rule in punjab for a further period of 6 months after october 5 1984 when the proclamation of emergency was due to expire in terms of article 356 of the constitution the president proclamation could not remain in force in punjab for more than 1 year unless the speci- the special conditions mentioned in clause 5 of article 356 were satisfied as a result of this amendment these conditions became inapplicable to the state of punjab the 49th amendment in 1984 sought to meet the aspiration of the tribal population by giving the autonomous district council in tripura's constitutional sanctity the adc was expected to provide necessary impetus to rapid development of tribal areas and ensure self government for them the 50th the 50th amendment in 1984 empowered parliament to enact laws determining to what extent any of the fundamental rights could be restricted or ab- abrogated to ensure proper discharge of duties by the armed forces or force charged with the maintenance of public order thank you listeners we have seen from 41 to 50 amendments we'll look at 51 to 60 in our next video please do not forget to like subscribe and comment thank you again